I want to welcome you to Sacred Heart School. I'm David Burroughs, and I'm just finishing my 12th year here as principal at Sacred Heart School. Normally, we'd be welcoming you in the doors here, but unfortunately, due to the circumstances, we're going to have to welcome you virtually to Sacred Heart School. You know, I couldn't be prouder of the team that I get to work with here at Sacred Heart. I thought I'd seen uh, the extent of their talents over these past 12 years until the last few months when the world got turned upside down and I got to see all of my teachers and staff reinventing school from the ground up. So I welcome you to this opportunity to hear from some of our teachers about the great things going on here at Sacred Heart School. So I teach at Sacred Heart School first and foremost because I was a student here and I had a wonderful experience uh, growing up in the community of Sacred Heart as a child. And when I decided to be a teacher when I was very young, I wanted to come back to a place I considered home where I could teach young people and have Christ be a part of my everyday teaching. To support all my students' needs, my number one priority is to get to know each student individually so that I'm building a relationship with each kid. That way I know if they need to be pushed a little bit further or if they need more support, if that's small group work or one-on-one -on -one group, um, I really work to try to get to know each of my students emotionally and socially as well as academically. I teach at Sacred Heart School for the sense of community. I think it's such a special place um, and the relationship you have with parents, with staff, and with the children and being able to see them grow into such a well-rounded person is such a joy of mine. Something I enjoy most about teaching at Sacred Heart School is the faculty and staff. I think uh, everyone really cares about being here and teaching each and every one of these students. Uh, not just in you know fourth grade, but I really care about all students here at the school and I can see that reflected in other teachers and staff. the ways we connect with our students on a fairly consistent basis is through the celebration of the Mass. It helps to develop that faith dimension. We surely hope it helps to develop their spiritual lives because we provide through the Word of God a reflection on that Word that, that we try to connect to our hearts. How does that Word speak to our hearts today and help us to continue to grow in faith. And so especially with the homilies, I um, try to speak to the kids in a way that they can understand. Students are challenged at every grade level at Sacred Heart, and once they get to middle school, they have opportunities to either challenge themselves further into accelerated classes or challenge themselves to make growth that they maybe hadn't made in the previous year. We do that in a number of ways in the humanities section of Sacred Heart. We level reading um, and we do assessments periodically to make sure that they are making reading growth. We also provide opportunities to challenge them through additional work including um, informational text reading that they do outside of class and in addition going further on questions that maybe don't have a yes or no answer. How can you draw this out to really fully inform yourself and make growth that you need to make. Students are challenged at every level in math, in humanities, in science and they have different accelerated courses for each of those levels as well. For instance next year we are going to pilot our very first um, geometry class that will have a full class of kids in it who are excelling above and beyond what regular math students are doing at the eighth grade level. In English we're looking towards creating reading groups and book clubs that will challenge our readers who maybe are at an accelerated level as well along with doing programs like Accelerated Reader, New Zeela, um, IXL which challenges them on reading and grammar and additional programs to help them succeed and go as far as they need to go in life.
So currently we're standing in uh, 3B. This is one of our two third grade classes. Each of our grades from kindergarten through fifth grade has two classrooms. And they also share a common instructional space that we call a pod. And I'm gonna show you the third grade pod, um, which joins 3B into uh, 3A. And this is a unique learning space. It allows us to have essentially three instructional spaces for each grade level. And each of our grades, kindergarten through fifth grade, have um, devoted instructional assistants. They each have um, a homeroom teacher, and those two homeroom teachers share an instructional aid. And those are full-time instructional aids that are dedicated to that grade level. In kindergarten, we have two dedicated instructional aids. Each classroom, kindergarten A has its own aid and kindergarten B has its own aid. And one of the great things about having those full-time instructional aids is it allows us to provide a lot of small group instruction. We're really able to differentiate instruction, especially in subjects like reading and math and language, where we are able to divide the students into small groups and really meet their instructional needs. The instructional aids are uh, fully capable of meeting, for example, in one of these pods with a small reading group or a small math group, either to provide uh, maybe some extra practice or uh, enrichment, or just allow the classroom teachers to have smaller groups while the instructional aides have smaller, a smaller group as well. This pod also allows, as you can see, a great um, transition between uh, 3A and 3B so the students can really um, go from classroom to classroom to get the instruction that they need. I've been the CYO cross country coach for five years and have coached my own children in running and all the way through pre-K to eighth grade where we have taken home second place three years in a row. We're still working for that first place. But just seeing the community and these students come together and build our program up to being over 150 kids participating each year has just been a delight and a joy to watch them compete and build this community and camaraderie together is one of my favorite parts of starting school in the fall. Hi, I'm Rosemary Ingman, and um, I've been really blessed. This is actually my 32nd year teaching at Sacred Heart. And the reason I originally picked um, to work at Sacred Heart is because I really believe in the mission and philosophy of Catholic education. To me, I believe in the development of the whole child. We work on the development of kids academically, spiritually and with a service back to community. So what we're doing in Catholic education is we are developing our future leaders. And right now I have the coolest job ever. I'm up in middle school and I'm the director of our academic resource class. This is an amazing elective class, really about the developing students to be scholars and leaders. It gives kids an opportunity to build that executive foundation base of understanding how to learn. Um, we work really hard on the development of 
organization, time management, planning and prioritizing. Um, we take those skill bases of those executive skills and bring them into the classroom. Community, I think you'll probably hear this from everybody, is probably the number one aspect of this school. There are many, many reasons for why I love working at Sacred Heart School, but the biggest reason that I love to work here is the community. As a teacher and as a parent at this school, the community has rallied together numerous times around not only my family in times of need, but around every family member in times of need and in times of celebration. And it's a wonderful place to send my own children and to come to work every day. Hi, I'm Laura Leach and I'm the Admissions Director here at Sacred Heart School. Thank you so much for taking the time to go on our virtual tour today. I wanted to let you know that although our campus is closed at this time, our school is in full operation, including our admissions process, and I would love to help you to learn more about the next steps to take. To reach out to me, you can email me at the email address listed at the bottom of the screen, and I look forward to hearing from you setting up a video meeting or a phone call and talking to you about taking the next steps to go through your child's admissions process to Sacred Heart School.